uh, all our games on is really cool go. in that it allows us to, in real time, try out moves and ideas. And here we have like, you know, playing with the warp pipes and like knocking about the Koopas and, uh, you know, how many Koopas do we want to launch out of the warp pipes? So we're able to tweak all of these things in, in real time. We've never shown footage like this, you know, uh, previously. It's really cool. This it's like a playground you can just trial and error exactly it out on. That's exactly what it is. This move was really interesting, you know, he had an awesome moves with this area attack, but he had to stay within the fire circle to, to be awesome. And you know what? It didn't work out that well because we wanted him to be awesome all the time. Yeah. And so we all, well, let's get rid of that and let's make him great. Fans might recognize the thwomps. Now, this was also on the cutting room floor. This was fun where you could like bring down these thwomps and you can like take out enemies. And it was really fun to see like, you know, how much damage we wanted them to do. But ultimately we decided that the Koopas would be actually a better, you know, uh, sort of uh, system for us to attack our enemies with instead of the thwomps. It just fit the character a little bit, a little yeah. bit more tightly. You know, he's the, he's the Koopa, ki Koopa King. And um, so funny seeing these little guinea pigs <laughs> coming out. We do. We can keep spawning <laughs> enemies and try different enemies and, uh, you know, see how well it works. I mean, with a game of over 300 characters, balancing is challenging. Yeah, I imagine. And uh, here we were trying, like, how many Koopas did we want to have them, you know, control? And we just went a little crazy here. I'm, I'm assuming it's not infinite <laughs> Koopas. Crazy, that might be many. a little, a little so many Koopas. Don't throw off the balance <laughs> and, you know, the environments. But it's really fun, like, watching them, like, move around like little ducklings. <laughs> you know, they're just like, tell me what to do. So what do you think just, was the most challenging part about getting Hammerslam Bowser where you wanted him to be? You know, I think it was actually, like, finding that balance. We had just so many ideas, you know, in terms of the movesets and, like, finding it where it felt natural.